Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Shining Pearl Nuzlocke, presented by Draco Breach. I forgot to do a couple things in Sunny Shore, uh, so let's get those done. There's actually a 35% chance, I believe, to catch something um, new here, so hopefully we can get it. There is the other 65% chance. Yeah, there's only two Pokemon that you can catch in Sunny Shore, and uh, they are Magikarp, who's ready to evolve, and um, what we're aiming for. Partly the reason we're aiming for is because of what I'm hoping to catch on 223, although there is no guarantee that I will run into what I hope for. Um, because, um, oh, there we go. Remoraid. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have uh, already said my piece about artillery. Um, so yeah, we're not catching this. Mm, let's go for a quick ball. We're not catching this for the artillery. <laughs> We're catching this for what I kind of hope uh, I can catch on 223. There we go. But there's also another reason. Um, I have the catch for Candace's gem. That I... <clears throat> Excuse me, my... <laughs> pollen has apparently been affecting my throat because it's a little uh, dry. Yes, we have to give Remoraid a nickname and another female. Um, that works. Do I want to save that? No, that's fine. Lapis. Let's check how good or bad you are. I don't mind the special attack increase. Speed decrease is not great. Um, I don't think you keep hustle when you evolve it, but if you do, there's trouble. Eh, not the worst, not great, great like at all, but it is what it is. Lapis was sent to a box. Like I said, I have a catch for both Candace's gym and um, Volkner's gym. I'm gonna go ahead and use Candace's. Make sure that I pull up what I have caught in so that I don't, hmm, okay. What I would probably want to aim for here would be Steel or Fairy. Let's go ahead and talk to you. I probably will not get enough to, to catch Spirit Tomb, but eh, who knows. Okay, Sandseer Cave. Uh, there might be a Steel type in here. I would actually kind of hope not for a Steelix, but Ever know. That's not a bad choice going, but I, I said fairy or um, steel, so that's that is what we're doing. And I didn't see any in there. So that type of room is still valid to catch something. Something to th keep in mind, in because I'm thinking about saving my last capture for when I get past Victory Road. Uh, 
let's see what we have. Oh wait, 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 wait. I think I've caught something in a room like this. I don't. Oh rats, what kind of room was this? I'm gonna catch this. I think this is a rocky cave. So unfortunately, I think that this is... Let me double check. Spacious cave, which is off limits because I already caught Houndoom in a spacious cave. So that actually might make it harder. Magnemite would be really nice. Magnemite is a great both offense and defense type, with it being electric and ground. Wait, what was... I don't think I've caught anything in here. Teddy Ursa, unfortunately, does not is not and does not evolve into... Getting some nice items. Probably should actually go up and explore the icy caverns some more because uh, basically up around um, Snow Point because uh, there's a lucky egg which doubles experience gain um, if I fail at the Elite Four, um, first time around and I have to go to a secondary team, probably would be a good idea to get that. I need to pay attention to the name of these caves when I go into them. Fount Spring, Fountain Spring, which I have not caught anything in, but I don't think... Hello, uh two dragon types. Well, not a dragon type yet. One could argue that, um, um, Altaria is a fairy type, but that's only with its mega evolution. So in this game, no, it's not. Swampy Cave, I have not caught, oh look, a tentacle. I have not caught anything in. I don't know that what I would... Hello? You're an ice type I wouldn't mind having. Is there anything else that I can check over here? I want to get, I probably want to get up to that big cavern. This is a big cat, I believe all of the big caverns are unique. Oh, I can get up to the big cavern going this way, just a bit roundabout. Okay, you sell things. This is the swampy cave, again, I don't think Hello, Cash and Barboach. Give me a second to remember Barboach's name. Um, yeah, nothing in here. Thing is, I think I have caught everything that I saw here already. Yeah, I have. Because we have Gene the Wish Cash, who was Gene the Barboach. Hammer, and Max, Fountain Spring, Gastrodon, and my favorite color. Yeah, I, I do like the blue ones uh, better than the pink ones. That's my personal preference. If you like the pink ones better, hey, more power to you. That's your preference. The shinies are odd for them because they're like a... Huh. 
how do I want to describe them? They're like a... Yeah, there's nothing in here, is there? You can swim in the water here. That's kind of how you're meant to catch anything that's in the water. Uh, did I get to avoid... Almost. Oh, the 3D movement in this game is not great. One thing that I actually did hear about this game is that they apparently built it on the same engine as the uh, as the uh, DS versions, and that's like, why? Spacious Cave, I have already caught some- oh, no. I attempted to catch something in, and it ran away. Which does mean that it is an Ill ineligible room. Oh. I might have to change the typing that I'm looking for. And one thing to note, like if I say that I'm, if I, if I do say that I'm looking for a dark type, that and that's what I'm allowing myself to catch, that would include um, Skaroopy, even though it is bug poison, because it evolves into um, bug, bug dark, I believe. Okay, wait. There's one room I haven't explored. Oh, right, I did, okay, yeah. It, yeah. Skaroopy wouldn't be bad. I don't think I have one. Spacious Cave, which I already failed to catch something in. I think it was surprisingly a Shinx that I failed to catch in a spacious cave. Could be remembering wrong. I'm looking around mainly because there are items in several of these rooms. Oh, hello Jingling. Um, uh, getting caught on geometry, both of us apparently. Pretty sure I don't have. Yeah, the only thing on this pet. Oh, right, lapis. I almost for. I already had one. Okay. So there's nothing in Sunny Shore that I can catch. Wait, I should have seen. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just like, oh, I can catch that because I haven't caught one yet. Nope, I have caught one. Let's make sure I don't make another mistake. Okay. Um... Where else in the Grand Underground would be a good place to catch. For, for now, just go up, not worry about it. Not completely giving up, just for now. I can always worry about the two catches later, because those are the last two catches available. Okay, now let's see what I catch. <laughs> I don't even remember the chances of the particular Pokemon that I would like to see showing up, but I think it is the least likely of the three catches that are possible. And yes, there are only three catches possible. Of which, ten... I, 
I'm getting a Pelipper. Okay. Yeah. What I wanted was Mantike. What I'm getting is a Pelipper. Wait, what? What? I wasn't even. Uh, let's start looking for a name. Pelipper. It doesn't even have Drizzle. I just noticed that. It doesn't even have Drizzle. That is a good bit of experience, actually. Yep, let's give you a name and you're another female. Okay. You know what? Let's see, summary. Keen Eye. Oh, it's special attack down. Well. Sure, that's 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 what we've got. Just double check as well, because I'm pretty sure I did not have a wingle. Yeah, I did not. Not Yes, I would have preferred a um Mantike. It is also water flying. No, that experience, and you have Drizzle. Drizzle would have been significantly better. I could have actually used it as a bit of a sacrificial play to to get Gyarados in against a scary opponent, uh, because Drizzle would immediately power up Waterfall. Increase, oh, right, right, that's, um, Swallow your stockpile. What in the world are you doing? You can't even... You can't even use... Uh, spit up or swallow until you use stockpile. Yeah, that's a decent bit of experience there. Um, I'd like to send in Cyrus, but uh, water types and... Yeah, that's a bad idea. Even against ice types, it's hard to justify Cyrus because um, even though it resists ice type moves, most ice types also know water type moves. Uh, let's go ahead and start using, oh, oh, okay. Start using repels, there's very little reason to fight. Well, mm. Pelipper gives a decent amount of experience, and I think Tentacruel also gives a decent amount of experience. <laughs> Why do you have a Buizel? Even if it has Ice Fang, I'm not terribly worried about it because it's not even evolved. And yes, I know Weasel can have Ice Fang, and I'm I'm just not concerned about a Weasel. Let's let's be honest, Weasel is not concerned. Tentacruel and Ice Beam, though, that could be a problem. Although it's doubtful that you have Ice Beam. Um. A lot of random trainers aren't going to have. Yeah, you're using a bubble. bubble beam? What? That's a... Is that a 50 power move? You have bubble, which I believe is 40. Bubble beam. Bubble beam might be 60. Bubble beam might be 60. But I mean, if you're going to use a 60 power move, you may as well have... Uh, Oh, what is the name of that? Has a chance of confusion. <clears throat> Drawing a blank. Huh. I'm, yeah, I am actually drawing a blank. Why am I drawing a blank? That is actually a pretty good move. 
I mean, you probably would never use it in competitive because it's pretty, it's pretty low power and only has a chance of confusion. Better to use uh, something like Scald, which is a bit higher power and has a chance for burn. Seeking is not that powerful. Let's go for high crits, because you are actually surprisingly bulky. And no crits. I love that Seeking and Goldeen learn like learn tech. And it's like a 40 power move. And you'll see this extremely weak move at the end of the game. It's hilarious, it really is. I'm I shouldn't have to worry about catching Cyrus up in levels with rare candies, um, because I'm almost to Victory Road, and um, Cyrus is actually pretty good against the types in there, um, except for obviously. Well, no, even even then, I was thinking about um, Golbats, which I believe can show up in there. But even then, um, should be able to just use uh, Flamethrower to get past its quad, we quad resistance to fighting. You are very bulky, you might have a berry, kind of doubtful. You did not. You're in your stockpile. So now we want to go for Cross Poison to try to crit past the one stage of defense boost. That's one way to use stockpile, and that's actually kind of probably the pre preferable way to use stockpile. Use it to boost your defenses. You can only use it three times, but there's almost no point in using Swallow to recover HP because of a variety of reasons. Okay, Gastrodon is potentially problematic. Um, it is more of a... It's not much of an attacker, but it has more special attack than attack. And you're using muddy water. Okay. okay. Well... Perfectly valid reason for me to use Giga Drain. Oh, muddy water. If you have, okay. Based on the amount of damage that that did, that was half, so triple that. That would have, if that was Ice Beam, that would have really hurt. But I don't think it would have KO'd. I, I love that I have a random... I, nothing, no fighting type move can hurt Hammer. You could hit Hammer with the strongest fighting type move in the game, and Hammer would go, oh, was that meant to hurt? And then hit, and then I have Dazzling Gleam. Just, you know, added insult to injury. I think overall this team is pretty decent. I'm purposely keeping the overpowered, broken, um, dragon type off my team. Uh, and it's, I'm also keeping uh, an over overpowered fighting type off of my team. I think, like, with, with my team right now, I think Gyarados, I think Great Joe is probably my best sweeper. Um, and that's primarily because of Dragon Dance. That was a crit and didn't take him out. Okay. Poise? I forgot that Cross Poison could poison. I legitimately forgot that Cross Poison could poison. That's 
Oh, that's, that's neat. Aqua Jet. Good move. Too bad it was too late. This should get Max another level, which is good. Want to go ahead and swap, I think, to let somebody else. Bill is not good to send in. No. Hyper Beam and Giga Impact have... I don't like the must recharge phase. I'd rather do two attacks in a row. Um, mainly because being able to attack with Waterfall two turns... I mean, okay. There is the possibility of knocking them out in one hit because it's more power at once. But, somebody could come in and just, uh, revenge kill, and that's <sighs> problematic. No, I'm not terribly concerned with earning extra money right now. Did you know I was crowned a champion of, of a swimsuit contest, so now I'm trying to win a, t win a title at a super contest show. A little bit different. Um, Instead of relying on yourself with a swimsuit contest, you're relying on your pets, basically. But, uh, yeah, you do you. Finion. Shouldn't be much of a problem. I have so many options. I, I love how I'm also making ju high jump kick a possibility by having the um zoom, zoom lens I, I can't remember you would think that I would be scared but it's only a pepper and I have Zen Headbutt that survived okay yeah Pelipper is bulkier than I thought <laughs> Uh, yeah, sure. Pelper is fairly bulky, but uh, stat-wise, it's not great. Although I think in this gen, with weather being permanent, it was an OU staple. I can't remember. Oh, yes, I know I can surf, but I'd rather swim instead. Does it seem weird? I agree. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Okay, you immediately dropped my power, my attack by one stage. Mm. Gyarados can't do much to I. Ice Punch can freeze or flinch. This can flinch. Let's go with Ice Punch here. Oh, wow. Okay. I was about to say, there's no way. Gyarados is a lot more bulky than that. Aqua Tail did not hurt as much as I thought it might. So let's go ahead and just finish this off with another ice, ice punch. Gyarados can be scary. Absolutely. That's why I love having Gyarados on my team. Um, it is a surprisingly bulky uh, potential sweeper. Because Dragon Dance. This is why... This is basically where you would get stuck if you tried to come this way uh, before beating Volkner. And with that, we have Victory Road and a Pokemon Center. Don't think there's anything important in here. There's a cool trainer. It broke me once, but that only added to my resolve. 
Victory Road, it lo lives up to that lofty name. And Victory Road in this game can be a challenge. Not gonna lie. Um, the, the, I will tell you where I got lost in there uh, back when this ga game first came out. And it can be somewhat tricky, but it was probably just me being stubborn about something about I, I don't know about what but I got stubborn at a particular part part and I'll I'll point that out anyway for the time being this will be Draco breach reporting out God bless and safe travels and please remember to like comment and subscribe